Hello, this is Nick from Review Outlaw. Today, today I'm going to show you how to post your book, your um, either your ebook or just a book you've self-published to Lulu. Now, there's a lot of steps to this. It can get a little bit complicated, uh, so I had to do a lot of revisions and, and changes to my book to in order to get it uh, published and uh, in order to get the distribution correct and available in different locations. So I want to show you um, a couple of the steps that I took in order to get that working. So first thing you want to do is you're going to go through and make a new project where you're going to fill out all your information. Um, and I've already done that. And you're going to basically create the project, your title, ID, description, things like that. Um, after that, you're going to get something called an ISBN number. Now, each book, whether it's hardcover, paperback, or ebook, has a different ISBN number. And that's to allow the publisher or the reseller to know kind of what book it is, the price it's set at, so on and so forth. So um, in your book, and I'm using just Word uh, to edit this, is you should have a copyright page, and in there should be the ISBN number. Now, you can get your own ISBN, num ISBN number, but in order to um, have this distributed, you need to use the one that Lulu provides. And the tricky part is they don't give you this number until after you fill out all this information. So you actually need to make a revision after you've submitted your book and it's been approved, you need to revise it again. So uh, where you're going to get this number is going to be right here in the description of ISBN. So you're going to verify that these two numbers are the same, which they are. And then, depending on the book size you're going to go with, I do a 6 by 9 you're going to need to export this Word doc to a PDF. So that can be tricky in itself. Um, the, I'll show you the best way to do that. Um, also, just to, to adjust the page layout, you're going to go to Size and then choose 6 by 9 I chose Postscript so I can put that 6 by 9 in for my uh, book size. I find that, and then you make sure the formatting's exactly the way you want it, way before you do any of this other stuff. So the numbers, the titles, you spend a long time doing that. So that's been done. Um, okay, so um, now we have the ISBN, ISBN number, it's hard to say. Um, correct, I got the, the book size right, now I want to print it to PDF. In order to do that, you're going to install a program, it's free, called Primo PDF. It's a free PDF converter. Uh, I tried to use the build, built-in one in Word, did not work, didn't grab the fonts correctly, it just gave me a massive amount of errors. So Primo PDF seems to get the fonts, the pictures, everything I want. Download this, install it, it's free, it's spyware free. Uh, the free version is going to work great. So here's the next step you want to do. There's a lot of steps to this. Is you're going to right click on your Primo PDF because we want to get it to the 6x9, whatever book size format you want. By default, it's going to print out the letterhead size. Well, that's not going to be helpful since none of your books uh, published are going to be letterhead size. So we're going to go to Printer Properties. We're going to go to, sorry, general, and then preferences, page, printer quality, advanced. Last sub steps there. And here you'll see paper size. We're going to hit edit. And in here, it'll just be the standard paper size. You're going to put in six by nine if that's the page size you're going with. Whatever you're going to do, you're going to set that. You can hit OK. You're going to hit OK again. OK, OK. So now that sets it, when you print a PDF, it's going to make sure it's in the 6x9 format. So now we're going to open up the Word doc. I'm going to hit print. Using Primo PDF, I see the page size is auto filled out 6x9. That looks good. Hit print. It takes a little while because this document's pretty large. You see the bottom, it's converting it right now. Uh, it's 180 pages, so that takes a bit of time um, to get done. So now it comes up here. I just choose the high, highest quality I can get. Um, you could, probably could do ebook too, but I just use the highest, largest file, but the most quality if possible. So we can just hit create. You're going to choose the folder you want. That's, this folder is fine. It's going to convert it to PDF. Hit OK. And it's going to pop up when you're done here in a PDF viewer so we can view it. You're going to go through this again, verify that, especially the table of contents, that this looks all good. Um, you go to the bottom, verify your pictures look good. 
you know, everything's not, nothing's off centered, off, off the page. Generally, pictures have to be 300 DPI um, dots so that you want to choose the highest quality picture you can. And make sure nothing's off center. That's a whole other video on, on formatting in Word. All right, so we now basically have the revision, um, which has the new ISBN number. So we're going to have to create a new revision. So instead of approving the book, which I'd love to do, but we want to create a revision which has the correct ISBN number. If we don't, uh, we'll go to submit it and it'll get rejected. So we're going to create a revision. And basically I have to go through the steps here again. Most of it should be auto filled out. Um, we're going to save and continue. Everything's again auto auto filled out. We know that's the correct one. It didn't generate a new one. Use the same one, which is good. Here's where we can upload the new file. So we have the old PDF file. We're going to choose the new one we just made. As you can see, this five kilobytes versus almost 100 um, megabytes, so it's, it's quite smaller. The PDF. We're going to upload this, and this is where we want it to pass and make sure that. Um, everything's going good with the document. If we have issues, generally, generally it's going to come up right here. Um, and we're also going to delete this old PDF once we uh, verify that this new one's good. All right, great. Everything is successful. That took, didn't take too long. We, again, we're going to delete the old one. That way we don't get confused. We're going to make this print ready. All right, now you want to verify again um, that your your document's not off center. You convert it a little bit again, so each time check, double check, and triple check the formatting. You can quickly go through it. You know, I wouldn't read every page. But just make sure that nothing looks funky. You know, grab the spot in the middle, grab the end. Just look at the pictures specifically, the formatting, the size. Nothing's hanging off off or not formatted properly. Usually at the beginning of the end, you can kind of tell the the numbers so that looks good so we're going to save and continue here most of the rest of this sh should be auto filled out one one thing for the cover the cover is, a, is is pretty tricky to get here's what i recommend that you do go to fiverr.com and get a really nice cover made for your book you're probably going to spend you know five bucks for the front and then probably another 10 to 15 for the back for the bio uh, you upload those two documents as pictures and right, instead of using the horrible um, thing they use, just you upload the whole thing and just replace it. Now, the middle bar here, you just put the title, the author's name and the title. You can't do too much with that. But if you can just grab the pictures, drag it over, drag it over, it looks much nicer than anything they're going to give you with those horrible themes. I'm not a huge fan of their um, covers. You're going to make print ready, verify that. So I think that's the best way you can get a nice looking cover. They add the barcode in the back so you don't have to worry about that portion. You're just getting the pictures and make sure when you do the formatting in, in the cover that none of the words or the pictures are too close to the edges of the book because there is sometimes um, something cut out and that doesn't look so great. Again, you can verify the cover now. Uh, this just, just pulls it big screen. Make sure the resolution looks good. You zoom in. There's no pixelation, things like that. Um, and look good. So we're going to save and continue now. Verify all this information, keywords, things like that. That's um, already verified with me. You're going to verify the price. Now this is a hardcover. Um, so, you, you know, like for example, if you did $39, um, which is probably where I'm going to leave it. 39 I think is going to be, is probably where I'm going to leave this uh, because of the, how many pages we have in it. I'm going to skip the payment information for right now. We can always go back and add that later on. Now we have all the details here. It looks good. I'm going to do general access. We're going to make it available to everyone. Okay, so we're sort of ordering a proof copy. I'm going to go to manage book distribution because my main goal is actually to get my book distributed through Barnes and Nobles and things like that, specifically through their website. Um, so here we go. 
So there's some, a couple changes that need to happen in order to get um, it distributed. A couple small revisions, the way it's processed, things like that. So don't order a proof copy because you might have to order another one. So instead you approve it for distribution and basically then you buy the copy because this is, makes a, a couple small changes uh, to the book and you're going to make sure that you're okay with those changes. So you're going to buy just one book and I would recommend grabbing a coupon if you can. That's not a coupon. Um, I think I have a coupon here. Yeah, there we go. So you can use the coupons here. Just to retail me not. Just Google coupons for Lulu and you'll find something there. You're going to check out there. And basically, just I just choose the slowest option. I just save money. I'm not in a huge rush to get this book. Uh, it does take about yeah, a week, a little more than a week for them just to make it. Once you know you like it, you can order more copies for yourself. Um, but, uh, yeah, so that's going to get you the copy in. Um, that says about delivery time, 15 days. So not, not super quick. Um, hopefully that answers you all your questions as far as formatting and redesigning the book to um, PDF and then getting a, a book in. I know I, I kind of breezed over some of the the parts of it, but um, all in all, I think one of the hardest things was getting the it converted from a doc to PDF. So hopefully that helps you out. As far as uh, getting an ebook, now that's again a whole another video, but it's extremely complicated. I'll just summarize really quick here. The qu quickest and easiest way to get it working on Lulu with an ebook, don't follow their guide. It's just a pain in the butt. Go to Fiverr.com. That's F I two R's Fiverr.com. And just put in here Lulu um, convert, convert, and uh, you're gonna get a couple of people here, and you can read the reviews, uh, thumbs up, you know, the, the stars, and, and they're gonna convert it to a Lulu. Make sure it says Lulu. Don't do like uh, anything. Make sure it says Lulu because they have a really strict um, EPUB, uh, which is the document format type that they accept. So definitely recommend that you use Fiverr. It's five bucks. It's cheap as hell compared to spending two, three, four, five hours doing it yourself uh, and still having trouble. This way, don't, um, once you get it back from them, test it, upload it, and give it a couple hours. Do not give them like a thumbs up or a, a project completed until you know 100% the ebook conversion works and that you, you try it also, I recommend on an iPad, view it, make sure it looks good, none of the format is off. But as far as e-format, that's the best way to go with that. So hopefully uh, you like my video. Please give me a thumbs up and a like if you, if you did like it. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to comment at the bottom. Thanks.